it gives you a really good little talk through. But yeah, this claim is just a little guild workshop basically. A lot of people like building in a clean room underground for certain features of building, so we built a workshop for every guild member to be able to go and build in space. Because sometimes your claim might be full from whatever you're building, so you might need space to go and build a certain item, and it's proved quite handy for some people, but <laughs> it's mostly underused, I think. <laughs> Where are we? Where are you all? I'm going to your claim now, Sophie. Okay. Everyone seems to be um, on and off more than a hooker's knickers. <laughs> it's we're just cheating port at home, really. Let me know when you're there, Steph, and I'll put that you can... Oh, okay. Sorry, Infinity. No, but it doesn't like me. Yeah, it's still like... I was trying to put the Twitch up there, and it's not letting me. <laughs> right, uh, how do I give permissions? I've not used Twitch chat enough, obviously. Permit this user. I, yeah, I can't get, I can't get my bot right, to I'm work there. yet. Oh, hang on a sec, wait. Right there now. I can get my bot to tell people off, that's about it. <laughs> Anybody wants to talk to me, feel there free. Can, got it. Yeah, tear can oh, do I it. think mine's down. <laughs> no, you're there. No, no, I'm coming. So this is Safi's beautiful little modern house. We like this. We, uh, no, I don't like modern builds either. <laughs> we stole... Uh, Safi really was reluctant with her ability to put anything on the guild claim. So I came over to her claim and saw the shape of this building and went, I'm having that. <laughs> yeah, I haven't beautiful. worked on mine here yet either. I, I've got like the first floor uh, roughed out. Well, oh, you'll like um, this claim as well because it's got a massive swimming pool that Safi has Media spent in a long time. Ed Files. Chat room timed out from Ed Files. <laughs> I've been given permission to post a link. That's really nice of you, Nightbot, for letting me post a link <laughs> in my own channel. Cheers. <laughs> Leave the entered your channel. Ed Viles. Chat room on Ed Viles. So, yeah, this is uh, Safi's massive pool. Welcome back. Nobody else is here. Except can, for you, can you go back to the round window? The round window? Or the half circle. These oh, ones. I saw a picture of this on on. Uh, you, you had a picture of this on Twitter. I did. Yes, this was my um. Swimming pool, the uh, lake. Yeah, this was the one that I may have insinuated looked like a certain shape of male genitalia. And the That's... swimming pool may have looked oh, like a jelly yeah. baby. That was before. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm with you. No, the house looks like the willy. If you say so. <laughs> this window, did you mean lithium? Yeah, yeah, that one looks Only lovely. if it's really, really small. This is a lot of intricate glasswork from Safi, and way more patience than I've got. That was a pain windows. in the arse. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I, yeah, I get bored after about one bit of pane of glass. I see how good I now was. I didn't make my pane of glass. Damn, it looks nice. How much water is in this pool, Safi? Ish. Oh my god, about six... Seven or eight hundred K, I think. Oh, God. <laughs> That's a lot of water. I wonder if they're gonna make us drown. Oh, probably. Do you think, like, this? Uh... Oh, Safi's got an angry tree. <laughs> He's got eyes. <laughs> I shall call him George. George the angry tree. <laughs> You need to think up some more names for. Really? Everybody calls stuff George. <laughs> yeah. What's it's like we... the most common name for inanimate objects in this game. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure if anyone else saw it, but he put a post on the official forums of names Everybody of the boxes. Everybody does. I shall call him George. I'm like, that's like the most common inanimate object name in this game is George. <laughs> Though I am particularly partial to Lucy. Everyone loves Lucy. Oh, of course. Right, I am going to Valerian's Tower. And Valerian, if you are fans of the books, is named after 
Game of Thrones because he loves it and he likes to give spoilers all the time. Doesn't he ever? <laughs> Someone dies. They all die. Shush, I just started reading the first book. Dumbledore dies. Oh no, Shush. that's Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong dinner book. <laughs> he sees dead people. Oh, Bruce Dumbledore. Willis is dead all the long. <laughs> Oh yeah, different movie. <laughs> Sorry, it's the wrong one. Yeah, wrong one. He's Luke's father. It must be that one. <laughs> oh, you're going to spoil the movie for me, Adia. Yeah, don't Can you go. Put like all the spoilers to all the movies, like in one whole thing. And I could... just put them together, and see how funny they'd. Say. <laughs> <laughs> what like one movie with all the spoilers for every other movie? Yeah, Bruce Willis is dead, and his. <laughs> Uh, the father of... Uh... And uh, Brad Pitt is Edward Norton's alter ego. All it's along. a head in the box. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Brad Pitt it really is really Luke. There. <laughs> yeah. The planet of the apes really is the Earth. <laughs> yeah, I've just started the first book. It's it's quite nicely written, isn't it? Oh, so I've not read them. I've... I've... I've been watching the series, but well, I haven't read the book yet. Well, I was on Amazon, on the, you know, the Kindle thingy, and it was one ninety nine. so I thought, well, really? I might as well, even well, if well, I don't like it. What series is that? The first one. Game of Thrones, the f just the first book. Ah, the book. Yeah, I've got the first one. Game of Fire and Ice, isn't it? No, it's just Game of Thrones, the first Game book. Game of Thrones, you yeah. can't roll it one ninety nine, can you? Yeah, one ninety nine. for a book. No, no, no I was just saying, I, I think I've got a version that... Uh, in, Love this it, it's cool because uh, I'm I've read <laughs> the first book yeah, and it's not called the Game of Thrones. It's called the Game of Fire and Ice. The Song of Fire and Ice. Song of Fire and Ice. Ice and Fire, even. Oh, well, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I've got it somewhere. Just um, well, I'm showing Tis people around Valley's claim. Um, they're all looking at the tree outside, and I will go and show that. Oh wait, right. you've moved off, have we? Oh, <laughs> we've been gone for ages. Yeah, when people aren't around. Oh, in Vinci, do you want to invite Kelly and Safi again? Because they're the ones who will get lost the most. <laughs> you know my sense of direction. Get lost here. <laughs> I was going to say, you've been. You oh. have leadership. When... I didn't know that. Well, when they um, put names to claims, it'll be so much easier, won't it? So you can see them on the map. So you see Safi's claim. Yeah, that'll suit me so much better. Be able to direct myself around then. <laughs> My game's spamming me with Invincy. <laughs> Suggest you invite Safi to your group. Oh, okay. I didn't I only hit it once. I know, I it, the game that. just wanted to tell me 20 times for some reason. He's done a lovely little it. garden halfway up uh, the tower as well, if anyone's not seen it. It's really nice. Um, hey guys, if y'all want to hear about culture shock, you should have heard about this wedding that I went to. Oh yeah, how was that? Oh, do tell. Yeah, do tell. Have you ever heard, you've heard, y'all heard of the Hells Angels, right? Oh yes, I know the HA quite well. Uh, well, my huh? sister is a biker chick. It was a biker wedding. Oh wow, oh, I bet that was amazing. Fun they are. It was, it was a culture shock even for me because, you know, I'm a redneck and it was a very, very redneck wedding. <laughs> Did, put it this way, did they slaughter a pig and burn it? No, no, <laughs> oh. guests were all drunk before the wedding started. Oh, yeah. How many really? fights were there? Uh, there weren't any. I'm surprised. The respecting for the uh, the uh, biker group. Oh, biker I'm group. Game oh, they don't start stuff at the wedding. But I'm, I'm surprised at that. I've been to like, quite a few where. Uh... Oh goodness, there's like 300 people there. Jesus. It was like wow. a it was it was like going to a rally. I mean, it was like you know, everywhere you look, it's it's leather and handguns. Excellent. Sounds fun. It was a trip. I was just like, you know, I'd, I'd heard about biker stuff, but I'd never been to one. And it was yeah. in their that... houses, which is basically um, dirt and a bar. Yeah. I mean, have any of y'all seen the movie um, Crime Baby? Right. Sorry, what was that? Y'all seen the movie Crybaby with Johnny Depp? Yes. Yeah. It's like Bert, it's like a, a Turkey Point, but a lot dirtier. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Turkey Point was clean. I mean, at least had like you know, Turkey Point had the dance floor and the and the um, stage. None of that. 
<laughs> it was just dark and it was funny. It was a very interesting experience. Oh yeah. But as soon as I can figure out how, I'll, I'll tweet a picture of me and my sister. Can't wait. In some places, it's considered um, a dull wedding if there isn't at least one punch up. Yeah, that's doth yeah, isn't it? I was just surprised somebody <laughs> didn't get hurt from any as many guns as were going off. <laughs> yeah. So, where, uh, where are you from? I'm from Middle Tennessee, but I was in East Tennessee. Uh, between between Knoxville and the state line. Yeah. Out there in the middle nice. of nowhere. So you're a southerner then, huh? Oh, very much so. Yay. My family's been southerners for six generations. Cool. I just love the accent. I do. I do too. It basically means that my family's been in, in Middle Tennessee since Middle Tennessee's been Middle Tennessee. Cool. He reminds me of the guy that was on um, America's Got Talent a few years ago. He um, ca caught the chicken chaser. Yeah. Oh, oh man, that, that sounds yeah, like a euphemism. This, this guy comes on, and no disrespect, but you took one look at him, and the thought went through the three head was redneck. And <laughs> he had a guitar. He opened his mouth, and he was he was from Tennessee. But when he started singing, oh boy, did he have a great voice! Really cracking singer. But he chased yeah. chicken. He caught chickens at a chicken factory, you know. Yeah. But he, he's got gone on to a number one album. Brilliant. Right, I need to go and get Hubby a cup of tea ready for his home in a minute, so I shall catch it up in five minutes. Okay. Well, I'm going to go to. I'm flying down to Copenhagen's claim now. I've had a good old look around Valley's claim. So we'll go to Copenhagen's village, which is a bit of a fly towards the portal. For anyone following? Yeah, I'm following. Me too. Kitty Mimi just dropped. And my beautiful tower still stands. Oh yeah, we get a good view of your tower as we um, as we fly down there. What, what speed trinkets are you using? Because you took over me so fast. Me? I'm using uh, double 3.6. Ah, oh, so I've only got a one, one of those. That's why you've shot past me. I have no idea where I'm going. I'll just pass Kitty Mimi in midair. We need um, Flight of the Valkyrie, I think, playing in the background <laughs> yeah. while we're all flying across. I just flew past Kitty and she was just I've standing in midair. Got, I'm glad I'm streaming this because Belg is literally sprinting across the air <laughs> above me. If you look oh, on going stream. Fast, I've just overtaken <laughs> Tia. He's just sprinting. What are you using in your trinkets? Two four point four. I've got I'm two guessing. four point four, and I've just used the potion of the wolf, spirit of the wolf. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Is that a my, my run speed is twenty three point eight. Is that a blue one, the um, four point four? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've never made one of those. I've got five point one. What do you say your run speed was? Twenty three point eight. Didn't you make that five point one on my claim? So technically, it's twenty three point eight as well. <laughs> Yeah, I think well, let's try as well. That was when we first got lunar anklets, wasn't it? Because we were testing the yeah the, the jump thing, the, the, how high we could jump with the lunar anklet. So this is Copener's build. I wish we'll go round to the front of it because um, it deserves a bit of love. Oh, is that the love. one he tweeted? Um, not his house. No, no, no. This is um, this is another one of his builds. We're going to go through all of them <laughs> because. Oh, cool, because I thought that when he tweeted, it was so cool. Kovner is... Uh, I've decided tonight, actually, that it's Danish people who are just perfect at this game. Because Bride was Danish, and he was a fantastic builder. And now we've got Kovner, who's Danish. And we've got a few other... Benrock's Danish. He's brilliant as well. And it's... it's, oh, it's fantastic. It must be being brought it's up in Legoland. It's because they education. <laughs> you've had Landmark... <laughs> you've had Vauxhall Farm for like 20 years, haven't you, in Denmark? Yeah, they just kept it a secret. So let's zoom out and properly look at this like castle because it's, it's gorgeous. It really is. <laughs> the detail is one of the things that I like the most about this claim. Um, just the additions on the the walls and the the beam works and things just really make it come to life 
No, we, we've got Jules who's a great builder. We've got